a deserted bus station late at night. Dim streetlights flicker, casting long shadows over the empty benches. The air is cold and a faint fog rolls in, making the surroundings eerie and still. Priya, a young woman in her mid-twenties, sits alone on a bench, waiting for the last bus to arrive. She checks her watch nervously. The clock strikes 11.45pm, but there's no sign of any other passengers or buses. The only sounds are the distant hum of crickets and the occasional rustle of the wind. The station feels unnaturally quiet, and Priya wraps her arms around herself, feeling a chill that has nothing to do with the cold air. Out of the corner of her eye, Priya notices a figure at the far end of the station. A man, dressed in a tattered coat and hat, stands completely still, facing away from her. His presence is unsettling, but Priya tries to shake off her discomfort. She glances back at her phone, checking the bus schedule. Still nothing. When she looks up again, the man has moved a few steps closer, still with his back turned. The streetlight above him flickers, casting his shadow long and distorted across the pavement. The distant sound of a bus engine breaks the silence, and Priya feels a wave of relief. Finally, the bus is coming. She stands up and starts moving toward the edge of the station. The bus's headlights cut through the fog as it slowly approaches. As Priya steps toward the bus stop, she realizes the man has now disappeared. A cold shiver runs down her spine, but she forces herself to ignore it. The bus halts in front of her, its doors creaking open. Priya climbs aboard, only to find the bus completely empty. No driver, no passengers. The lights inside flicker eerily as the bus sits there, unmoving. Confused, she turns to step off, but the doors slam shut behind her. The bus engine roars to life, and the vehicle begins to move on its own. The windows blur with fog, and Priya bangs on the doors, screaming for help, but no one can hear her. As she stumbles to the back of the bus, she sees the man from the station sitting in the last row, staring directly at her now, his face pale, his eyes dark and sunken. He smiles, revealing unnaturally sharp teeth. Priya feels the bus speeding up. The windows now show nothing but darkness outside, no streets, no lights. She frantically tries to find a way out, but it's too late. The last thing she hears is the man's chilling whisper, you were never meant to leave. The bus drives off into the night, vanishing into the fog. The bus station is empty once again. A soft echo of Priya's scream lingers in the air. <coughs> Some journeys have no return.